Hey everybody, I'm back with another reading. So today we're going to do a collective read for tonight. <laughs> so um, this message may or may not resonate with you. However, if you like this video, um, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you are new. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some energy for tonight. What's going on with the collective? All right. So it looks like some of y'all are closing chapters. Y'all may be going into new phases. Some of you guys may be closing a chapter on something old. A lot of you guys could also be trying to rekindle with someone or someone is trying to rekindle with you. Renew, transformation, growth, changing mind. So somebody could be changing their mind here. It looks like somebody is communicating, conversing more, texting, calling, emailing, um, and somebody's showing some love. Somebody's showing some love. Somebody's talking more. I'm getting more open communication. It looks like um, something could be being worked on. Somebody's showing consistency. Okay, I'm seeing that here. We got wedding rings, okay? Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, elastic, everlasting promise, okay? So it looks like something had to end for something to either be rebuilt because it looks like for some, someone could be returning. They could be returning um, and saying that they want to get married this go round. Yeah, okay, so there's someone here. You could have been heartbroken. You could have been sad um, because of you and this person could have been separated for a while. There was a breakup. Um, you may have been grieving a little bit. You may have heard that this person also had some other options, okay? You could have been marrying their, their, you could have been marrying their energy. You may have had a few options as well, but it looks like there was a separation period or time apart from each other. So this time around, someone here is deciding that they're gonna make some better choices. We got making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. So yeah, somebody is deciding that they're gonna make, they're gonna choose better this time because the last time they felt like they stabbed you in the back. Okay, so somebody felt like they didn't give you what you were worth. Okay, so this time around it looks like they are coming towards you, um, sabotaging what somebody could be self-sabotaging. This person could have self-sabotaged you guys' connection, but now they're coming back to work on it, to build. Um, and it's something that could last for a while, okay? This could even go head towards marriage. Give me one more card. Thank you, Spirit. Girl with the snake empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used in able and boundaries okay it looks like spirit is saying this time you need to make sure that you have certain have set certain boundaries when it comes to dealing with this person because sometimes this person could wear some type of mask okay i feel like this person could have been deal, dealing with a karmic while you guys were separated yep and we got karmic relationship Engagement, seduction, and separation. So this person could have been dating a karmic while you guys were separated. Um, it looks like they could be closing that chapter and coming towards you. They know that they broke your heart, but they're deciding that this go around, they're going to make some better choices. Okay, like I said, this person wears a mask, so you have to make sure that when dealing with this person, if you want to deal with this person, that you don't get caught up in the situation, you don't get used, or you're not looked at as an enabler. Um, you have to make sure that you have certain boundaries set because this person can't overdo it, okay? But they'll only be doing what you allow, so if you don't allow it, then they know that's a boundary that they can't cross, okay? 
right. What else? Here? What does this person want to say to the collector? person be trying to act tough when they're around other people and other people bring your name up they try not to react when people mention your name but they wish that things could be different and this person could be trying to hide behind material things trying to get you to like them trying to get you to be impressed they're trying to impress you look we will be together again I left you before you could leave me. Okay, so we got, we will be together again, and I left you before you left me. And they remember every single detail of that day. They knew that you were the best thing smoking, okay? But they hid who they really was from you. I don't even think that you really even knew this person has a dark side, has a side that you, they have a side that they haven't even shown you. They're definitely hiding behind material things. They want you to see them in a certain light. They want to impress you in some way, shape, or form with materials. But they're saying that we will be together again. I left you before you could leave me. They think about you all the time. You always on their mind. I know that you are the one I want to spend my life with. I feel like there was a boy in this connection. They was running away from this connection. But they're coming in to tell you how they feel. And their higher self is trying to contact you. So they could be like dreaming about you or tele telepathically trying to get in contact with you. Because they see signs about you everywhere. And they left you before you could leave them. And then they pretend like they're trying to avoid the connection. They're trying to avoid the connection because they know that they messed up. Well, this person was definitely hoping that you was going to wait for them. Yeah, and they were scared to face you um, when this happened. When there was some type of split, they were scared to uh, face you. So they just avoided the connection altogether. But they want to get back in now. Yeah, they're going through an awakening. And they have a lot of sexual thoughts about you. They think about you sexually a lot. Even if they're with the karmic right now, they're going through some type of awakening. Um, realizing that they shouldn't have moved the way that they moved. They overdid something. They just going through it. They going through it right now. Because they didn't make the right choice. They didn't make no any good choices when it came to you guys' situation. And they're regretting that now. They're regretting it now. Somebody could have, you and this person could have children or a child together. For some, not all, but some uh, are dealing with someone. This person could be real, at, just at childish. They act younger. They're asking for forgiveness. Like, they want some type of forgiveness. They're going to be calling, they're going to be reaching out to you. They're trying to 
uh, they're using prayers and affirmations to try to bring y'all back together. They want to get come. They're coming back. We got free yourself. Attraction. And pay attention to the red flags. So, I feel like this person is very attracted to you. Physically. On a physical level. This person is extremely attracted to you. But there's still something. There's something here that's a sign. Okay, something. This person could be coming around for sex. Okay, this person could be coming around to connect with you sexually. And it looks like for those who are willing to allow this person back in, it's something that they express to you during that act. It's something that they express to you or say to you before this act happens or after this act happens. Okay, they're trying to get you to open up your mind. Um, they do want to heal this issue with you. And they do want to give this relationship a chance. They feel like you deserve better this time around. They do want to give this relationship a chance. Wow, so now they know now they know what they want. After they done this stuff. Alright, let's see what actually is this person going to be taking towards my collector? Ooh. Is this person real busy? Or you're really busy. They may feel like you're a little too busy. They want to communicate with you. this coming this part i'm saying this coming <laughs> i feel like out of the blue i feel like randomly this person is coming towards you you don't even see it coming yep i'm telling you this person could be pulling a pop-up you got the Tower Chariot in the Six of Swords. This person could be a Sagittarius, especially here with Temperance. And I also have Chariot. But I'm getting somebody is busy. This person is coming towards you. They coming towards you with a gift or something. With this King of Pentacles here, they coming. They are coming towards you. Okay. They planning on leaving happy too. Um. I feel like this person is coming towards you. They got some type of offer, gift, money. Yeah, they got they're coming towards you with something. They're coming in and they're coming in quick, okay? They don't want to slow down at this point. 
I feel like you may be telling this person, like, look, I got a little busy, you know, like you're coming off as too busy for this person, but they don't want to slow down at this point. They want to, they coming in, they coming in hot, okay? They coming in and they coming in hot. I'm telling you, this person is, they want to leave satisfied. This person said is saying that they want they their change, their change. If this person said they have changed. Yep. This person is coming in to reciprocate. We got a six of pentacles and a lovers. This person is coming in. They are coming in. They want to rebuild this. This is somebody from the past. And you know, we are currently in Mercury retrograde. So that's why this energy looks like this. Because somebody knows that know that they messed up. Now they want to fix it. They want to make things right. They're going to make uh, better decisions. They're going to do it differently this time. All right. That's what I got for y'all. If this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. All right, until next time.